All right, good morning, everyone. Just got up about, I don't even have a watch on yet. Uh, about six, I got up at 6.40, didn't get out of the tent till seven. It's about 7.40 now, so we're, I had the coffee going for a little bit. I'm getting my second cup going now. Um, yeah, got in last night, got to camp at Burles Ford. Got in about uh, 4.30, we'll call it. And uh, yeah, really nice campsite, bare cables, really nice private big campsites. Um, yeah, couldn't ask for anything better. So it was a good night at camp. Uh, didn't sleep the best last night, but sometimes that's part of it. And today we got about 11 miles to Round Mountain Campground. That's where we're shooting for. So trip's going to be a little bit longer than probably what we intended it to be. Probably stretch it at least seven days instead of the six. So that's fine. We're just at a little slower pace. Uh, yesterday slowed us down. We didn't realize that section. We've never seen that section of trail and it, it slowed us down. But uh, that's fine. It was, it was enjoyable nonetheless. So the trail should be a little more clearer today and we'll be able to get some more miles in. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to take our time. We got the entire week off work and just going to enjoy the trip. So no point to me in too much of a hurry. Going to enjoy ourselves and uh, just have some fun. So yeah, we'll uh, drink some coffee, kind of getting the gear organized, getting things cleaned up, get everything packed up, and we're going to get back on the trail. So starting from Burles Ford, we got about, we got a pretty big climb first part this morning. And we get to the top of the mountain, should have some cell phone service. Haven't had cell phone service since really Monday when we started the first day. We had a tiny blip of it yesterday. Not enough to do anything. So be nice to check in, see what's going on. But yeah, that's our day. Okay, leaving Burles Ford behind for good. And now we're climbing, I think, Burles Mountain. So, went and saw King Creek Falls. I'll put some clips of that in right now. Oh. I can't go look at it. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, sure. And we begin our climb. We finally made it to the top of Burles Ford Mountain, or Burles Mountain. This is the mountain that you climb right after Burles Ford Campground. <clears throat> so we took our first stop for the day. Had a little bit of cell phone service, so we decided that was a good place to stop, take our first break slash breakfast. Um, kind of had a slow start to the morning. We didn't leave camp to about 9.45. We uh, and really enjoyed the camp, the amenities that were there. Uh, got up, took our time pack in, Made some coffee, drank coffee, you know, it's a good morning. Um, there's a uh, waterfall near Burroughs Ford Campground. I think it's King Creek Falls. Uh, probably a hundred foot waterfall. Um, highly recommend you check it out if, you have, uh, if you're walking through. It's a good place to go snap some pictures and just kind of take in a little bit of beauty. But we're working our way down the other side of Burroughs Mountain down to Fish Hatchery. So we're uh, 
our next stop is going to be a uh, stream or spring and uh, do a water stop. So we'll do another pack off break probably in oh, two, three miles, wherever, wherever we find water and uh, get filled up. So we uh, making pretty good progress today. Um, only planning to do 11 miles to Round Mountain Camp. So that's the goal for today, which is only 11 miles from Burles, Burles Ford. But uh, yeah, just working our way down the mountain. And yeah, fueled up, got some good snacks in us. I got hydrated and yeah, just enjoying the day. It's been a good day. So I think we got a view coming up up here at the top so that'll be fun all right so we made it to fish hatchery huh? if you don't want to be on video that's cool <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> yeah. yep just made it to fish hatchery road i believe we got a treat coming up we're about to find out a little bit of trail magic uh. Done 20.3 miles so far. Making good progress on the day. Next little section, goal is to get some water. Maybe take another little break. But. First time we've seen an asphalt road for a while. Pretty close to the highway as well. Looks like we got 3.3 miles to our next little checkpoint. Going to Sloan Bridge. All right. So I was correct. Just left Fish Hatchery Road, probably barely 100 yards onto the trail. And it sounds like we have some trail magic, maybe some sodas. I remember this last time when we done some day hikes up here. It's a very nice treat in the middle of the day. Let's see what we got. It's full, baby. Mountain Dews. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes, sir. Thank you, Taz. Thanks, Taz. Appreciate that, buddy. Gonna enjoy that treat for a few minutes. Courtesy of Taz, got me a cherry Pepsi. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for doing this. All right, just finished our soda, courtesy of Taz. Thanks again, man. And now we're back on trail heading for Sloan. I keep calling it Sloan Creek, but I'm pretty sure it's Sloan Bridge. And uh, we got a toilet there. Probably stop, spread out a little bit, take a good break, probably lunch. And then uh, got a little bit of a climb to camp tonight. So man, we're doing pretty good. Supposed to have rain coming in the night, so we're trying to get to camp before that happens. Get everything set up. And then if it starts raining, we can uh, just crawl into our tents early. So, on, on to the next watering hole to fill up, and then on the swim bridge. like we made it to Hikers Peril Falls. This is right beside, or pretty close to the Sloan Bridge access. So even if you want to come see it, you know, you can drive down Highway 107 and park at Sloan Bridge and come see the waterfall. It's not flowing a whole lot right now. I remember back in July, we were here, it was flowing a lot more. So it's been pretty dry lately. So a lot of the water sources, a lot of the intermittent water sources are not flowing very well, but, uh, there's a lot of water sources out here that are still flowing fine. So um, if you haven't, that's probably a good idea. If you if you don't have it, if you come out here to hike, highly recommend the uh, Far Out app. I bought the Foothills Trail, it's like $11, but it gives you all the, all the locations as you're hiking, all the campsites, all the water sources, all the information you'd wanna know. If you click on the icons, you'll see comments from people. 
that uh, have been through recently and they can give you some up-to-date information. But yeah, you can definitely get some water here at Hikers Peril Falls. We just stopped and filled up water about half a mile ago. Um, so got got filled up and we're gonna stop up here at Sloan Bridge and take a good rest. And then we'll have about a two and a half mile climb up to camp for the night. So making really good progress today. Planning on being the biggest day so far of the trip. But yeah, looking forward to getting a good break up here, eating some snacks. And uh, there is a toilet at Sloan Bridge. So anytime you don't have to dig a cat hole, that's a big plus. Made it to Sloan Bridge through the parking area. Got the toilet. And I see a picnic table with my name all over it. Gonna stop, take care of some business, eat some food, get hydrated, and then we're heading up there. So, about two and a half miles to camp, but we're gonna take a break first. All right, just took our break at Sloan Bridge. Just hiked across the highway and we're heading up whatever mountain this is. I have no idea, but got about two and a half miles to camp and that's about it. Got a steady climb about, I don't know, 500 feet maybe. <clears throat> but get over these steps. There we go. And we're on our way. All right, y'all. Made it back to North Carolina, back home. All right, everyone. So we finally made it to camp tonight. We made it all the way to Round Mountain Campsite. About, we really did about 12 miles today. Uh, 11 miles worth of trail and kind of did a couple spurs. Uh, FYI, Round Mountain Campsite is not 0.2 miles off the trail like it says on Far Out. It's more like 0.4. Um, the water source at the campground is not very good. So when you get to the split right before you go, instead of continuing continuing on Round Mountain Trail, uh, instead of going left on route to Round Mountain Campsite, go down right in about two tenths. You'll see a nice creek. Get your water before you come to camp. Because if not, you roll into camp at dark like we did, and then you have to make a quick run. But we're all stocked up, ready to go. But um, we were expecting a little bit of rain tonight. Hasn't rained yet. Hope it holds off. Um, but we got everything set up, all the camp, the tents and hammock, everything set up. Got a nice fire going and eating, getting fat and happy and just enjoying the night. So all well that ends well. We'll see you in the morning. Pretty nice day tomorrow. See some nice waterfalls. So until then, we'll see you next time.